All right, welcome to another episode of Recreating the Cover. This time we will be creating Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. Is it gonna be in 10 minutes? I don't know, I don't really care. You already see how long the video is, so we'll see how long it is. This is a new book in the Twilight series, and it's coming out on August 4th, I think. It's basically gonna be the same book as Twilight, but from Edward's point of view, fine. We'll read it, we'll see how it turns out. I actually like the first book of Twilight. I think it has a lot of fun ideas in it, but craft-wise, it might not be quite there. So who knows, maybe in the past 10 years or so, Stephanie Meyer just upped her game and she will still keep her fun ideas, but present it in a much better way. I don't really know what to expect from this book. I don't really know why it's happening, but it is happening. So we'll see what happens. But before that, we're going to recreate this cover uh, before I start recreating the cover though, I want to sort of take a look at the cover and sort of see what the assignment is here. So obviously this book has unlimited marketing budget. They could have had any type of cover they wanted. They could have had all sorts of flowers and shapes and they could have fantastic illustrations of Bella and Edward and whatever they wanted. They could have gotten any illustrator, any designer they wanted, but they went with this because they want something specific. So we'll try to understand that at first and obviously the first thing they wanted was this book to be recognizable as a Twilight cover now unfortunately I don't have my Twilight copy anymore because 10 years ago I lent it to someone and they never gave it back to me I was looking through my shelves and I was seeing all other three books and I was confused where is the first book and I looked everywhere and then it dawned on me I was like oh I gave it to someone and they never gave it back. And unfortunately, I'm not in contact with that person anymore. So that book is gone. That's why I don't lend anyone any books, okay? Because the books never come back. So that's fine. I put them all up here in Photoshop. So we're gonna take a look at that side by side. And first thing that takes my attention is the color red, right? It's that bright, passionate red very prominent on black and that is very important to have on this cover too. The other thing is on Twilight there is this offering of an apple. So this is obviously a romance heavy book so there's definitely an analogy here of the forbidden fruit being offered. But another really important thing is humans are food to vampires. That's a really prominent idea in this book. Bella is delicious to Edward. Whenever Edward sees Bella, Robert Pattinson does something like that in the movies. And that is because Bella is so delicious, he can't hold himself back. So the idea of food is very important for these covers too. And obviously they have that in this cover as well. What they did differently is, so this time they chose a pomegranate. It looks like a ginormous pomegranate, or I guess maybe it has really tiny seeds, but I doubt it. I think it's like a huge pomegranate. And they cut it in half, but like they sort of shaped it to look like a heart. But then they roughed it up a little bit and made it sort of gritty. There's this really bright, juicy, gritty, red pomegranate image and then they added some blood dripping underneath the pomegranate and obviously they used the same fonts i actually really like this cover because it's consistent and it invokes some sort of visceral emotion in me so i appreciate that they went this way instead of coming up with a super pretty cover or something like that because edward and bella's love is not pretty right it's hard it's difficult and i think it comes across in this cover they sort of changed the letter L in Twilight made it like longer and like thicker for some reason. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> this is supposed to look like a upside down fang. I don't know what that means. It looks a little bit random, but they did the same thing on the D here. <laughs> they, they made the D a little bit longer. Uh, all right, it's, it's, not, it, it, it's not supposed to mean that, okay? It's a coincidence. It's not supposed to mean that. Let's move on. So now that we understood what the assignment is, I think we can just start recreating this cover. By the way, I call these series recreating the cover in 10 minutes, but it's not like I'm trying to belittle this cover design. Obviously it's a simple cover design. Obviously we can get this done in 10 minutes. But the reason I talked about how they might have come up with the idea to design a cover like this 
was because it's just it's not just 10 minutes it's obviously more complicated than that it's just the name of the series it's supposed to feel more like a speed run of the cover design so i want to clarify that i'm not making fun of the simplicity of the cover when i say recreating it in 10 minutes all right let's start so first obviously let's start with a dark background and here's the thing we did not spare any expenses i actually went ahead and bought a pomegranate and cut it in half and took a photo listen it is summer it's hard to find pomegranates anyway and it's not at all possible to find a pomegranate that's as ginormous as they have so we have a slightly less cool pomegranate but we're gonna make it do okay it's gonna work it's gonna work fine so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this pomegranate so that i can isolate it from the background thankfully photoshop makes my job super easy in that that was an easy selection let's refine it a little bit so i'm going to refine these little parts a little bit there's some black that doesn't really matter because the background is already black but I kind of want to refine it a little bit still. I'm just going to increase the contrast a little bit. I think my pomegranate is red and juicy and gritty enough. So first what I want to do is I want to bring back a little bit of the darkness of the sides. They look a little bit too bright to me right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken this whole thing a little bit. And when I, oh, I think this looks nice. So once I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mask the rest of it. This will add to the grittiness a little bit. So if you want to see before, it was like super bright. Now like the edges are a little bit bloodier, if you will. I like that a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I actually want to see the stem a little bit. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Cool. Now, um, I want to give this a heart shape. Obviously, this now looks like a regular pomegranate, but that's not what we want. We want it to look like a heart. Um, so for that, I'm going to add a liquify filter. You know what? I'm actually going to convert it into a smart object with the mask so that I can just change the shape of the pomegranate and not worry about the background. All right, that works. So now we go to liquify and we're just gonna see the shape. So I'm gonna increase my brush size a bit. I'll just push things in a little bit to make it a little bit like a heart, right? That's looking good. Just small little pushes. I don't wanna distort the seeds. Is it 10 minutes yet? No, we just started. Yeah? I think this looks good. Ah, look at that. That looks like a heart to me. So if you like to see before and after, before it was like this blob of a pomegranate and now it kind of looks like a heart. That's nice. Now they had sort of a blood dripping underneath. I found like an image of a blood drop. So I'll just add that into this. I brought in my blood drop. Um, it's like a super small blood drop. But so let's have it like that. And I'm going to mask it a little bit. So it matches a little nicer. that yeah that kind of looks nice that's looking good we have our blood drop we have our pomegranate let's group them together let's say pomegranate if i can spell looking good i think we can get to the text uh, the font is called Zephyr, and uh, let's actually make it white, and it's like, I don't know, 100, is it too large, we'll see, no, it's even too small, so let's say midnight sun, let's make it large, let's say now a little bit, Closer a bit. Yeah, that looks good. They actually changed the letters G and S in this font. If 
we look at Twilight, so in the Twilight, they have this curly G. They actually use the font as it is, but in this one, they use a different G. So I'll try to do that. I'm not too concerned of having the exact thing, so I'm just gonna use a different font for those. Something close, but I don't really care about being exact. So, you know, we'll see. So I'm gonna use a font called Gilda. It's close enough. And I'll do the same thing for the S. I actually don't like that S either. Um, is there too much spacing? Oh yeah, there's way too much spacing. I don't know why there's too much spacing in this. Yeah. And actually I wanna make this S a little bit smaller. It looks a little bit too large. So let's make the text a little bit larger. Let's take this pomegranate down quite a bit, actually. Because I'm going to make the D longer. <laughs> no innuendos, guys. No innuendos intended. We're going to make the D longer. So, to make the D longer, now I'm going to convert this to a shape so that I can edit the outlines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two points and I'm going to move them up quite a bit, like this much, so that we have a long D. That's what they want. Yeah, that looks nice. And I mean, there isn't much to do. And now we're going to add Stephanie Meyer. And for the author's name, they use a different font. I don't exactly know what that font is, but I think it's maybe even as simple as an Arial, but I actually like this font better. So I'm gonna use this one, I don't know what they used. And this one actually has some spacing in it. So what they did is they actually did, if you look at that, they actually made the author's name much larger than the book's title. I don't want to do that. Um, on the contrary, I actually want to make it a little bit smaller. Now, they would never allow me to do that. They want Stephanie Meyer's name large and big and on this cover that everyone can see. And I get that, okay? I get that. That makes sense, but I don't want that. What I want is, I want this triangular effect leading me to the author's name. See, from the title to the pomegranate and to the author's name. That's what I want. And I don't want to have that number one best-selling New York Times author, whatever thing. I don't like that kind of thing on the covers. Um, I like just the title and the author. And that's pretty much it. I think we have our Midnight Sun cover. I don't know if I want to add a little bit sh more sharpness. Let's try and see. I think maybe I want a little bit more sharpness. Yeah, I think I do want a little bit more sharpness. That looks nice. It brings up the juiciness a little bit more, but not as much sharpness, but just a little bit sharpness. Yeah, yeah, totally. That looks much nicer. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Okay, cool. That is our Midnight Sun cover. Unfortunately, I don't have a double genetically enhanced ginormous pomegranate with thousands of seeds in it. It's maybe this big, their pomegranate is, I, it's commendable. I appreciate that they were able to find that pomegranate, but I wasn't able to find it. But still, I think it's good enough. All right, so that's good, but I actually want to do something else. Now, for the previous Twilight covers, they also had like a special edition on white. And I kind of want to do something like that too. Yeah. And I took another photo. So I'm going to bring that photo in to make the white cover. I actually put like a little bit of little pomegranate seeds on the background, little drops of pomegranate juice. I don't know. I wanted to do something different. So first, let's actually make this heart shape too. So let's do that again. Um, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. This definitely looks like a heart. Yeah, is it 10 minutes yet? 
I don't know, maybe we're doing two covers in 10 minutes. No, it's way past 10 minutes. That is fine. Um, I'm, I'm going to reconstruct the rest of it, so. Yeah, I think this looks good. I like it. And maybe let's do the sharpening on this one too, because I kind of liked it on the other one. I'm not sure how it's going to look on this one. I think it looks good. Yeah, I think I like it on this one too. Maybe just a little bit less on this one. Maybe what I want to do is I actually want to remove sharpening from the background a little bit. So I'm going to mask that out a little bit because I want the background to be blurry. I shot the photo like that because I want the background blurry. I don't want it sharp. I brought in my blood drop once again. Let's have that here too. And let's do some masking. I think it's coming together real nice. Yeah, I like that. And that one, the blood drop looks even better, I think. So that's pretty nice. Let's bring in our text from our original cover. Let's name this text and let's copy, paste. I actually want to make this a little bit larger. All right, let's make the text black. Very nice. Um, another thing I want to do is I actually want to sample this color and change the color of my background to that because some of the seeds are interfering with my text. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask them out a little bit. Let's remove this seed, for example. This is just too much. Let's remove that one. Let's remove these ones. I don't want them. I want my text to be clear. Yeah, now that I have that, I can make the stuff come out a little smaller again. Looking good, I like it. Where did my blood drop go? Uh, because I moved the thing, the blood drop didn't move. Let's move it down. Let's make sure that it's looking nice. I like it. I think this looks nice. I want to have a few other versions. One version I would like to have is, so let's actually duplicate this. Let's turn this one off. One version I want to have is complete white background. So I'm going to remove all of these. So we have this completely clean white background. I think that looks really cool. Another version I want to have is actually a different text color. I want to have sort of a red text to complement the red on the pomegranate. Um, let's see how that looks. I'll first turn off this color overlay and then I will actually change the color of my text. I'll just pick some color from the pomegranate. Oh, that's actually, that looks nice. Let's copy this color so that we can paste the same color. Oh, well, we can just add a color overlay in this one. Yeah, that looks nice. So actually, I'm gonna add a color overlay to this one too, because I wanna show you before and after versions of each of them. That will be easier to do if I use a color overlay. Okay, that's good. So what I want is I want this version, which is red text, white background, background, yeah. Background, if I can type. So I want that to be one version. I want this to be another version. Um, for this one, we would need to add another color overlay. That will be black. All right, so this one is going to be black text. Oh my God, white background. So we have this version with red text and white background. And we have this version with black text and my original background. And then we have this version with, again, clean white background with black text. I actually like this one the most. So that's gonna be my special edition. I don't know which one you prefer. Let me know in the comments. There's black text, red text, and then black with the background. I think this has, this has kind of an interesting effect. I don't know, it looks a little bit cuter. So I don't really want 
cute, but I can imagine some people might want something cuter. But it also sort of evokes like blood dripping. So I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, but it depends. My favorite is going to be this one. And if we go back to our original, let's save this one. If you go to original one, this was our original recreation um, of the Midnight Sun cover. And this is their cover, which their ginormous, double genetically enhanced pomegranate. And it looked great. I was not able to find a pomegranate like that. But, you know, we're speed running this cover and I think this is good enough. I like it. I'm quite happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this process too. If you did, please leave a like to let me know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this fantastic cover that we created. And also let me know your thoughts on my special edition cover which i quite like let's make it a bit larger i actually like this one quite a bit better so i would buy the special edition covers this would look great on my shelves anyway the midnight sun review is going to be coming so if you'd like to see that don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to see more cover design speedruns please subscribe and i'll see you next time